Pilots Chase from Wright with another team we reveal. Um, a few different things today. Uh, obviously, we're going to try and get a few broad spectrum of items we're going through these team we reviews. Uh, and then I'll be getting back to the horror stuff at one point. So let's crack on. So these, again, five different things. First one being another baby thing. Uh, obviously, uh, Amelia uh, needs more baby clothes. <laughs> Not. So this is a nice one for a grandma. Uh, so that would be my grandma loves me to the moon and back. And that one, to be fair, £1.39. So not a lot of money when you're looking at the uh, price of things uh, for a bit of baby clothes. Uh, they're so expensive these days, but that was a bargain. Um, then I went to look for something which I thought would be clever. Uh, and I, I went and bought... Uh, these are cheap everywhere, I'm assuming. But I, thought I went and bought a new screen protector for myself. Um, which was one of these uh, obvious usual stuff. Wipe on, wipe off dirt and stuff and then you put this protector on now this is one of those that goes privacy which is lovely the only issue I had was when they sent me the and you get three by the way I'll tell you how much they are in a minute you get three uh, but unfortunately you can see on here at the bottom it's a bit short so it doesn't fit my phone which is a bit weird because it should do so I'm going to have to have a look at that. Uh, so it, it works, and it, it, and I got three for three pound fifty. So I thought bargain. You know, literally we can have three for three fifty. Uh, there, and then obviously you put the first one on, check the others, and they're too short for my phone. So not very good. Um, anyway, so that's a half win. That was number two. Uh, number three was uh, something I got from Amelia again. Uh, this is such a a win for any mum and dad to get a toy now they are very plasticky so this is a special writing board again £2.98 for this just bear that in mind it comes with its own stylus again very plasticky but what the child can do if I put this on what the child can do is write her name on here Amelia you can see it's come on there and if you press the button at the bottom when they finish scribbling they can just go uh, and then write some more stuff on here like that, at the bottom, press again, clean it. Now, there's a lock at the back, so if you want to show mummy and daddy, you lock it out for them, then when they write on it, it will stay like that until you unlock it, and then again, you can just uh, delete it. So, again, this was very cheap. This was uh, £2.88 for what we used, I mean, today's you know, sketchograph, whatever you used to call them in the old days, but that for £2.88 as a nice little play toy for Amelia. I think we're probably going to give her that when she's slightly older, probably Christmas time, when she's nearly, uh, nearly, what's that, like, nine months around there somewhere. Still, she's only 12 weeks, remember, at the moment, so I don't think she'll even understand what this is currently. Uh, so that was number three. Um, and then for number four, I bought this. All right, so you can see how small this is. Okay, now, you'll be surprised when I tell you what it is. I'm not going to open it all the way out because we could be here forever. Um, I'm just going to show you what the material is like very thin. So this is meant to be a photographic wall. And it's meant to be uh, meters high by meters length. Now unfortunately it is a photographic kind of material but you can see if I can get the end somewhere here. Not doing very well today with the ends. Um, if I can find an end. Oh it smells funky as well. Oh, a bit of a weird smell. Some of these things always come with weird plastic smells don't they? Uh, all right, I'm going to open it a little bit more now because I think you find the end. Right, there we are. There's the end. So as you can see through the end, if I open it up, there you are. It's quite, you can't probably, you may be able to see a little bit. It's very see-through. Now the only problem I have with this, obviously, uh, being a photographer, we usually use uh, the um, thicker cloths with muzzies and whatever. Uh, and they are a lot more you can't see through them they're not shiny this feels very shiny see-through and probably not going to be very good with a flash so we got that one uh, and again that was five pound so the other ones you usually use about 40 50 quid when you get one for a full-size photographic centre uh, and a bit well, what we also did yeah uh, this doesn't look as nice as what's on the photo this one again was another photo shoot background and I suppose it's kind of you know you buy what you pay for really but this was another one I bought again. Just so we have some fun with the media's photo shoot, which we'll be doing um, in August. In August, I thought I'd get a one 
this is a horrible print compared to what's shown on there. I'm not happy with this. So here's the print. <laughs> this is rubbish. Okay, I might not be using this. Um, I might be just sending this back maybe. So the print shows, and again, on the screen it doesn't look too bad. But up close and against the picture, it's not, I mean look how big it is. That, that's the photographic wall. So you know, this is meant to be like three meters. <laughs> Quite a big wall, uh, but it's not obviously. It's a very small wall, so you probably put that on, on the back, attach it to the white one maybe when you're doing your photo stuff. So uh, I'll give you feedback on on this uh, <laughs> as and when. But again, it's, it's three pounds. So out of the five things today, obviously the baby clothes is good. Uh, the uh, anti-screen protector for the phone was good if it was the right size. Uh, the writing pad was good, and the photographic walls. Mm, We'll see how they go when we actually do the work. So uh, overall, like I said, the money-wise, we, we didn't spend too much. It's quite good. Um, so that was quite cool. Um, but like, again, we'll get some more reviews. So any comments in the bottom if you've already tried these products or there's something you want us to try specifically, uh, a, a range of stuff on TMU. So we can always go out and get some other bits and bobs. They're very cheap. Uh, and then we'll show you what they look like. And then you can decide whether it's worth your time or money. Uh, and no, we are not sponsored by TMU. So my... my my actual um, stuff I buy myself uh, and my comments are my own uh, so they won't change whether we ever get sponsored or not maybe we will uh, we'll buy more stuff from Team U and show you more stuff but we'll see how that goes okay so there we are video for today I hope you're all doing well and we'll come back to you with another video soon see you later bye